Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a review of the entire Jeffree Star Cosmetics Jawbreaker Summer 2019 collection. If you guys don't know, I review every single collection from Jeffree Star Cosmetics on this channel, and I can't believe I have to say this, but in my last video, a lot of people actually accused me of stealing Jeffree Star's product from his factory because he sends it to me in PR and I got it so early. So let's answer that question right off the bat. How did I get this? Jeffree sent it to me in PR and I am very very appreciative of that because that means I can get this review out for you guys before the launch. So if you guys are new to my channel, please subscribe so you don't miss out on any future uploads. But if you are curious to hear my thoughts and see me try out this collection, then just keep on watching. So the focus of this collection and the star of the show is obviously the Jawbreaker palette. This is a $58 palette. I think it's the biggest palette that Jeffree has ever done. And the main focus of this video is going to be on this eyeshadow palette. I'm going to share with you guys this rainbow makeup look. I'm also going to live swatch the entire thing. But just so you guys know, if you're here for something specific, I'm going to leave timestamps in the description and as a pinned comment so you can skip to what section you want to see of this review. But this palette is so beautiful. It has 24 shades. It's an obviously vibrant summer palette and I cannot even tell you how inspired it makes me. When I first saw this, I kind of knew I needed it, but I thought to myself, okay, it's another rainbow palette. But when I got it in person, I can't even explain to you how beautiful it is and my mind already started creating a bunch of combinations in here that actually would be good for summer but also fall. And I don't know why my mind is already like on pumpkins and fall, but this beautiful orange color and this purple color, that's all I think about. There's even a raspberry like maroon shade and navy shade, so keep an open mind when you're looking at this. So without any further ado, let's live swatch this Jawbreaker palette. So pretty much every single shade out of this palette was consistent in quality. The only one that I couldn't really see was Cone and that's because it kind of matches my skin tone. But I personally feel like the way that eyeshadow applies on the eyes is much much more important than how it swatches in a finger swatch. So now let's get into my first time using this Jawbreaker palette on my eyes and I'll show you guys how I created this rainbow look I'm wearing. So my goal with this look was to use as many colors as I could so that I could give you guys a representation of the palette as a whole. So I did a rainbow look, so I finished one eye and I'm going to recreate the look on the other eye so that I don't miss any steps. Here's another look at the inside of the palette before I swatch it. So first I'm going into the only shade that works as a neutral transition in this palette for me and it's this shade called Cone. And I'm dipping in with a Sigma E40. So taking this big fluffy brush, I'm going to blend Cone into the crease. 
And you know it's officially summer when there's a bee buzzing around my window. I don't know if you guys can hear it. <laughs> Next up, I'm going into a neon orangish color called Suck. I'm dipping into Suck with a E25 from Sigma. And I gently tap this into the outer corner of my eye. And then once most of the product is down, I blend it out just super, super gently. Next up, I could not do this look without going into the bubblegum pink. So we're going into bubblegum with an M433, a very similar brush to the E25. So for this one, I'm going into the center of my lid and I'm blending around, just blending into that neon orange shade and packing as much bubblegum as I can into the center of the look. So I don't want to get demonetized, so I'm going into the shade F-U-C-K. It's a beautiful neon color. And I'm going in with another white-haired blender brush. If you guys can't tell what my favorite kind of brushes are, that's what they are. <laughs> so this is a beautiful, bright neon coral. So I'm going to take this coral shade and just go right in front of that pink. The key with a rainbow look is to be gentle. I'm not pushing hard on my lid at all. And if I feel like I overstepped the pink at all, I just go back in with a little bit more so that the pink is nice and on top. Next up in the inner corner of my eye, I have the shade Wow. So I'm taking this small brush. This is a Morphe R43, I think. The numbers are starting to fade. But I'm dipping into the shade Wow with a tiny little brush because I don't want this to go too crazy. And I'm laying this over that neon coral right in the inner corner of my eye. And I'm taking a little bit more of Suck and popping it into that outer corner as well. Now I'm going to put on my eyeliner and lashes. I've been using Benefit Roller Liner and I have the Studio Effects Wispies from Ardell. And then I'll come back and do the lower lash line. Okay, so now that my lashes are on, I'm going in with blues and purples on the lower lash line. So first I'm dipping into the sky blue shade called Brain Freeze, and I'm using pencil brushes for these. So Brain Freeze is going on the lower lash line near the inner corner. Then comes purple called Gumdrop and another pencil brush, and I'm going to put this in the middle of the lower lash line. And then finally, I'm taking just a tiny bit of this almost cobalt blue. It's like a neon blue called Soaked. And I'm putting this right in the outer corner near the eyeliner. And then with a clean brush, I'm just sweeping along the lower lash line so nothing is harsh. And then adding some lower lash mascara and that completes the eye look. All right, so this is my first eye look using the Jawbreaker palette. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I tried to use as many colors as I could and I am blown away. So next up, let's talk about the mini breaker palette. So this is the first time that Jeffrey has offered his formula in a mini palette for a lot less money. So this little guy is a nine pan eyeshadow palette for $28. It has the same iconic packaging with the Jawbreaker splatters all over it. And you guys tell me if I'm crazy, but does this not scream fall to you? Is it just me? Again, I don't know why. I know there's neons in here, which is very summery, but there's also a mustard, there's a gold, and there's purples, and for me, that screams fall. So I definitely think this is something special as well. If I'm not mistaken, the two shades down here are the only repeats out of the Jawbreaker palette itself. The rest of them are exclusive to the Mini Breaker palette. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the swatches of this palette. So the only shade out of this palette that gave me trouble with swatching was Purple Punch out of the middle. It was just a little bit sheer, but again, that doesn't really say how it's going to apply to the eyes. So I'm only human, I can't do everything in this first review, but if you guys want to see me use the Mini Breaker palette, then follow me on Instagram. I have it written down as one of my next tutorials to film over there. Next up in the collection is the Skin Frost palette. This is the Brain Freeze palette. Now I was a little bit skeptical about this at first just because I really Really like cohesiveness I like everything to match and I felt like this didn't match the collection but after I swatched it you guys holy crap I feel like this is an upped formula of the skin frost because they literally felt wet so I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys swatches of the brain freeze palette So 
So I was skeptical at first, but Goldbreaker actually was so beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and insert a clip of using Goldbreaker for the first time. So I really want to test out Goldbreaker out of the Brain Freeze palette. I think this is the most interesting highlight out of the collection. It was stunning in the swatch, so I'm excited to see how it looks on my cheekbone. So I'm just going to hit the high points. And to no surprise, it is blinding. So after swatching and trying it, I feel like this has a lot more to offer than I initially thought. And even though the packaging is different, I feel like I still love it, especially for the 4th of July. I feel like it gives me like patriotic vibes. Next up in the collection are the Supreme Frost. So I have no experience with Supreme Frost. This is my first time trying them. So there are three, one of which stands out to my basic self and it is stunning. This is the shade Diamond Wet. So this is Diamond Wet and these retail for $32 each so they are a little bit more pricey than the regular skin frosts. This is intense. So there is Diamond Wet swatched. Next up is Caramel Kiss and this is a little bit more bronze for deeper skin tones. So there is Caramel Kiss. And the formula of these is very unique. It's not what I expected it to be. I expected it to be like a gel. It's not. Last up is Candy Apple Drip, and I could see myself using this as an eyeshadow in the fall. I don't know what's wrong with me, you guys. I like the fall, okay? <laughs> so there is Candy Apple Drip. So the first two were definitely more like typical highlighters, but with a ton of glitter in them. And then the Candy Apple Drip is definitely a duochrome green to like purple magenta color without so much glitter in it. And we'll add some glitter over top my highlight from the Brain Freeze palette. This is very, very intense and my highlight is already intense. I would say the Supreme Frosts are not for the faint of heart. If you love glitter in your highlight, then go for it. If you don't, you're really not going to like them. But I, I'm a huge fan. And last up, before we get into lip swatches of the Velour Liquid Lipsticks, there are three lip scrubs in this collection. And Jeffree Star's lip scrubs are the only ones that I use now. They are the most delicious, they're edible, and I feel like they work the best and come with the most product. So there are three. There is Lemon Sucker, Pineapple Juice, and Cucumber Mint. And I'm going to smell them all. Oh my god. Lemon Sucker. Anything lemon is usually my favorite. I think he did lemon box cookies in a previous collection and I'm almost all the way through that lemon lip scrub. Next up is pineapple juice and I think I'm gonna love this. My boyfriend loves pineapple juice and I love pineapples. I don't know how he does it, you guys, but his scents and flavors are spot on. This one smells really good, but it's a little bit more artificial smelling than I expected. And then lastly, we have cucumber mint, which I think is going to smell really like spa-like. Yeah, this one smells really minty, really clean, and it reminds me a lot of like a self-care day where you want to do little spa treatments. I would go for this one. So last up to talk about in this video, I have the Velour Liquid Lipsticks. Now, I was not sent the lip ammos, which is totally okay. I much prefer liquid lipsticks myself. So I am going to lip swatch all six shades for you guys. Here is the lime green packaging. Neons are very, very much in for summer 2019, so I love the packaging. First up for lip swatches is Fully Nude. So this is the perfect daily nude for me, not too light, not too dark. I really like it. Next up is Bronze Blood. Now, I wouldn't personally wear a lipstick color like this, but what I love about Jeffree Star Cosmetics is all of his liquid lipsticks are eye safe, so they can be used as eyeliners or eyeshadows. So there is Bronze Blood on me. I actually don't really mind it. It kind of just looks like a goldeny bronze gloss, but his metallics are some of my favorite formulas because they do dry down and they're very comfortable. So I might experiment with this in the summer. Next up is the green out of the collection. This is the shade No Offense. And again, I would use this as an eyeliner or an eye product before I ever used it on my lips, but I will go ahead and swatch it for you guys.
So this is no offense on me and it's giving me lizard realness. Next up is what I think will be my favorite color out of the collection. This is a really pretty kind of watermelon berry color. It's called Strawberry Crush. So this is Strawberry Crush. It's really beautiful and really neon and I think it might be my favorite. Next up is the purple and this is called Purple Urkel and I don't know who came up with the name but for some reason when I hear this name I can picture like Jeffrey asking Shane Dawson what to name his purple lipstick and just, I don't know, I just imagine a really funny conversation. I just realized this now putting this on that it has such a beautiful faint almost lilac shimmer to it so I really like this. It's a lot more unique than I thought it would be. And last up we have the shade Yes Ma'am which is a bright neon pink. So here is Yes Ma'am, and I think this and the Strawberry Crush are definitely my favorites out of this collection. Alright you guys, so that is everything that I have out of the Jawbreaker collection. I really hope that this video helped you guys out and I showed you guys everything that you want to see about the collection. If you want to see more looks, then be sure to follow me on my Instagram because I will be posting looks over there. But also let me know in the comments what colors do you want me to use if I do another look with the Jawbreaker palette. I am in love with this collection. It makes me happy. The palette is definitely my favorite part of the collection and I also really enjoy the pink lipsticks but I do love everything I think he did a really great job it kind of held me over because I'm such a huge fan of the thirsty palette I don't know if we're gonna get another one but I feel like I'm like crossing my fingers for one because that was my favorite palette he has ever done this one might end up being my favorite but I need to try it out more but thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and for watching and for subscribing to my channel I hope you stick around for more videos and hopefully I will see you all in my next one bye